Good day, kids. How are you today? Welcome to English Tree Virtual Class. Today we're going to talk about Quarter 1, Module 7 Singular to Plural Form of Regular Nouns. I am Teacher Harlot Jane A. Flores your English teacher for today. But before we begin, I want you to bring out with you your English 3, Quarter 1, Module 7, including your pen and your notebook. It is better for learning and remembering when you take down important details of our lesson. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Identify nouns in a sentence Form the plural form of regular nouns And use a plural form of regular nouns in the sentence Enjoy your journey and good luck! What I know Identify the noun used in each sentence Write the letter of your answer on a separate sheet of paper Number 1 The boy ate almost all bananas A. The B. Boy C. Almost D. All Number 2 The cat watched and waited Letter A. Cat B. Watch C. And D. Waited Number 3 She danced all night on stage a. She B. Watch C. And D. Stage Number 4 The pupils polish the chair carefully A. The B. Polish C. Chair D. Carefully Number 5 The book is too heavy to carry a. Book B. Is C. Heavy D. Carry Nouns are words used to name a person, place, thing, or idea. When a noun names one person, place, or thing, it is called singular noun. The plural noun Names more than one person, place, thing, or idea. What's in? Write the plural form of the following noun. We do have singular and plural form. Number one. Book plus S is equals to number two friend plus s is equals to number three bag plus s is equals to number four bird plus s is equals to number five three plus s is equals to Great job! You're doing well! Right now, we're going to read the story below. The story is entitled, Benny the Bully by Nova C. Halai. Benny is 
a bully kid. He is big and nasty when he talks. His classmate, Gino, is really scared of him because Benny always takes his lunch and threatens him to hide his bag and other belongings. All the kids in school are really afraid of Benny and no one really dares to fight him back. While sitting on a bench in the park, Gino was looking at a red ant crawling into his pants. He was so surprised when he was not beaten by the ant. He knew that most people are scared of the ant, despite its small size, because it bites things. Gino spent the whole night wondering what could be his strength to fight Benny. He tried to think of what could frighten Benny. The next day, Gino seemed like a new boy. He no longer walked gazing at the ground, nor looked away when people spoke to him. He was confident and ready to face up anyone. In his mind, he thought that he should no longer be afraid of anyone. Rather, he should teach the bully a real lesson. At lunch break, Benny stole Gino's lunchbox. Benny ate Gino's food and was shocked to later realize that it was an extremely hot and spicy rice with a double. He ended up crying and coughing. Benny decided not to eat Gina's food in the future. He wanted to eat Gina, but this time the lottery didn't run away. If you hit me, they'll all find out. I completely memorized the phone numbers of your parents and our teacher. I could call them right now. You will definitely be punished, Gina said. The tactic worked. In the end, Gino became like a red ant who could fight back against bully like Benny. He frightened him and made sure no one will mess up with him. Do you like our story? Well, I'm sure you did. Right now, let us proceed to comprehension question. Read and understand the questions carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. Who was the bully in the story? Is it A. Benny? B. Gino? C. Belly? D. Gian? Number 2. Why is everyone in school scared of Benny? A. Because Benny is a hungry kid. B. Because Benny is an honest kid. C. Because Benny is a bully kid. Or letter D. Because Benny is a happy kid. Number 3. What did Benny do to scare Gino? A. He threatened Gino to hide his bag and other belongings. B. He wanted to share his lunch with him. C. He enjoyed carrying Gino's bag. Or letter D. He is happy seeing Gino every day. Number 4. How did Gino teach Benny the bully a lesson? A. He bravely faced Benny the bully. B. He threatened to punch Benny after class. 
D. He scared Benny with a knife. Or letter D. He kicked Benny in the face. What lesson can we get from the story Benny the Bully? Is it A. To overcome fear and face the bully bravely? B. To ignore what the bully says? C. To be bossy and arrogant? Or letter D. To be a bully? What is it? Have you noticed the underlined words in the story? How do we form the plural form of nouns? In order to do this, you have to understand and follow the rules in forming the plural form of regular nouns. Rules to follow in forming plural form of regular nouns. We do have Rule number one. Add an S to singular noun. Examples. Park becomes parts. Ant becomes ants. Bug becomes bugs. Rule number two. Add S to noun ending in Y. Preceded by a vowel. Examples Monkey becomes monkeys. Day becomes days. Boy becomes boys. Rule number three Add ES to nouns ending in CH, SH, S, and X. Example, coach becomes coaches, sash becomes sashes, tax becomes taxes, and boss becomes bosses. Great job! What's more? We do have activity A. Identify nouns in the sentence. On a separate sheet of paper, copy the following sentences. Then, identify the nouns by underlining them. Number 1. That boy is bully. Number 2. He tried to hide his bag. Number 3. The ant bites painfully. Number four, this kid is very sad. And number five, he cried all day. Activity B, plural form of regular nouns. Write the plural form of the underlined noun in the sentence. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number one. Benny is a bully kid. The underlined word is kid. Number two. The boy is sad when Benny gets his lunchbox. The underlined word is boy. Number three. Gino is afraid that Benny will hide his bag. The underlined word is bag. Number four. Gino realized that despite the smaller size of ant, it can frighten the big one. The underlined word is ant. And last number, number five. Benny learned a lesson that day, and he no longer ate. Gino's lunch. The underlined word is day. What I can do? Write the correct 
plural form of the noun in the parentheses to complete the sentences. Number 1. This book blank are interesting to read. The word inside the parentheses is book. Number 2. People in those a valley blank have many tales to tell about the legend of the beast. The word inside the parentheses is valley. Number 3. The people in that mountain are mostly farmers. The word inside the parentheses is farmer. Number 4. They are surrounded with huge rock. The word inside the parentheses is rock. Last number, number 5. There are many visitors blank in the nearby village. The word inside the parentheses is visitor. Great job! Right now, let us proceed to assessment. Choose the letter of the correct plural form of the underlined nouns in the following sentences. Let's start with number one. Some guests arrived early. The underlined word is guest. Is it A guest, B guest, C guesses? Number two. The servants polish the chair carefully. The underlined word is chair. Is it A chair, B chairs, C chairs? For item number three, his parents prepared plenty of dessert. The underlined word is dessert. Is it A. Dessert, B. Dessertes, C. Desserts? Number four, my two brothers help mother to wash the plate. The underlined word is plate. Is it A plates, B plate, C plates? Last item, item number five. I have seen the visitors dancing in their respective room. The underlined word is room. Is it A room, B rooms, C rooms? Wow, you really amazed me that much. Right now, let us enrich your understanding with this additional activity. Write the plural form of the given noun and use them to construct a sentence. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1 Girl. What is the plural form of the word girl? Now use the plural form in the sentence. Number two. Market. What is the plural form of the word market? Right now, try to use it in the sentence. Number three, the word is toy. What is the plural form of the word toy? Try to use the plural form toy in the sentence. Number four, teacher. What is the plural form of the word teacher? Try to use the plural form into sentence. Number five. The word is suck. What is the plural form of the word suck? Now try to use the plural form into sentence. Fantastic.
fantastic. Good job. I hope you learn new learnings today. And that's all for today's lesson. See you next time on our next virtual class. Again, I am Teacher Harlot today. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now.